Braintree police do not traditionally either drive Maseratis or have punished and enslaved written on the side of their police cars. A man faces up to a one-year sentence for impersonating a police officer because, according to the Braintree police, his vehicle painted to match barricade from the Transformer movies resembles a police car too closely. I too had difficulty finding differences between Braintree police officers and shape-shifting robot vehicle aliens bent on the punishment and enslavement of humanity. This is Maya with the Bay State Examiner, and we're here in Braintree discussing uh, some of the matters with a run-in that they just had with a Decepticon. So, uh, officer, officer, um, we heard that you just ran into a Decepticon out on the streets here in Braintree. Uh, were you even aware that the Decepticons were present? Uh, uh, officer, I'm sorry. Uh, can can I get your name and badge number? I don't. I don't know. Uh, well, well, I'm making a uh, request under Massachusetts general law uh, for your ID card, officer. You really have to show that. Officer, can you roll out? I don't think he's going to roll out. Some of these officers have their name tags, though, so uh, this actually is the watch commander. Uh, you, can, you can see, uh, you know, that's confirmed. So, uh, watch commander, why is it that your officers uh, won't identify themselves and will not roll out? There you have it. Uh, the Autobots running the Braintree police will not speak on this issue. So, uh, the Bay State Examiner is going to turn in a uh, records request for all activity uh, dealing with the Decepticon threat here in Braintree. Here you go, officer. Uh, you, you can take this. All right. My client was arrested for impersonation of a police officer. He was pulled over in August 9th in Braintree, driving a Maserati, which said Decepticons punish and enslave. Since none of the Autobot, or perhaps they are Decepticon, officers from the Braintree Police were willing to discuss this matter with us, we're going to go try to talk to some of the humans. Um, officers, I heard you uh, ran into a Decepticon recently. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't answer those questions right now. I, if you want to speak to my supervisor, I'll have her come out and you can speak Please to Please do. Her. Thank you. Okay. Given that your client is a Decepticon and uh, there's been a lot of propaganda about Decepticons, do you think that he'll be able to get a fair trial on this planet? Well, in the United States, you're entitled to a jury of peers. I'm not sure if in Norfolk County at the Quincy District Court we can find a jury of Decepticons. I'm hoping it doesn't go that far. Both humans and Decepticons are protected by the United States Constitution. Uh, yes, please. Well, um, first of all, I'd like to turn... Uh, nope. Um, this is a records request. That is inaccurate. Uh, so, I guess uh, she she is uh, much like her Decepticon or Autobot uh, partners in that she is uh, unwilling and completely hostile to humanity. Can you tell us about the immigration status? Uh, has has your client sought amnesty? Is that why they're here from Cybertron? You know, actually, that's protected by attorney-client privilege. That's not the kind of thing I can reveal. Right. Sir. I think the lieutenant asked you not to tape. Uh, that's fine. Yet. Yeah, that's fine. We're doing, I was going to say, this is just uh, news media, news information First gathering. Amendment, you know. Yeah. It's protected. You're going to have to step outside then. She asked you not to record or, or tape without her consent. That's yeah. not our law. Yeah, that's that's not part of any law. I'll be right with you. This call. You do yes, have I the do. First Amendment right of freedom of so speech, but do you don't have, have the right to record stuff, right? anyone's voice. So are you, are you discussing the Massachusetts wiretap so law? I'm not going to. I'm asking you to leave the building, and you're not allowed to record my voice. So okay. Leave the what law are you citing for the uh, recording of your voice? Leave the building, please. Are you saying that it is a matter of law that we cannot? You cannot. I'm not consenting to taking my voice. Could you leave I the building, I understand please? that you're not consenting, and that's um, unfortunate. What I'm saying is, is it a matter of law? I just told you what I said. Could you please leave the building? You have not answered that question. Messi, you're, um, what is your name and badge number? I'm not telling you my name. So if you'd like to sit here all day long, you can. Okay. But we are not going to go on camera with our voices being recorded. Do you understand May that? May I see your ID card or may I have a no, card? No, I am badge number 73. That's all you can have, okay? 73? I'm sorry, what's 73. your name, ma'am? You don't I appear didn't to be wearing you. an intag or a badge or anything. I don't know, that's right. So under Massachusetts law, it's actually illegal to uh, not identify yourself appropriately, which is showing an ID card upon lawful request. But it is legal to openly record. 
I'm here trying one last time to interact with the Decepticon. It's clearly a Decepticon because an Autobot would respect the no parking sign seen here. I would not display a gang sign like this uh, thin blue line sticker. And would probably park in a parking spot. The front license is required under Massachusetts law. So Decepticon, I know it's you. Show yourself. Are you here for the punishment and enslavement of humanity? When I entered the Braintree Police Department, I expected to find it staffed with Autobots, but it's more clear that they're with the Decepticon, given their open hostility towards me, a human. It seems that their motto truly is to punish and enslave, and it's no surprise then that they would charge someone for having their motto on their vehicle. If you found our reporting valuable and you want to support us, please like and share our content. Follow Bay State Examiner on Facebook and BS Examiner on Twitter, and stop by baystateexaminer.com. If you want to support more of our reporting, please consider donating to us directly. A link to our donation page is in the description. Thanks. Braintree Police Department. I expected to find it staffed by the Autobots. <laughs> this is ridiculous.